Is it Primark or Primark? Oh god. This one is broken as well. It's nice. Wow. Hello everyone, welcome back to my channel. My name is Anna and on this channel we discuss all the latest events in London and not only London. And today we're walking to Primark. But first let me show you the Selfridges windows. Selfridges was overtaken by Tiffany recently and it's not gonna stay here long but I really enjoy observing how the decorations change and unfortunately I have missed the evening blue box lighting but well as it is beautiful quite a few pieces I saw on the Tiffany exhibition a couple of years ago but let's move on to Primark how do you spell it correctly is it Primark or Primark let me know in comments it's the first time I'm in the shop I know that many people love it I guess primarily because of the affordability affordable prices but let's explore what they have for Christmas and to be honest I have very mixed feelings because yes the prices are low and it's possible to buy a lot but at the same time the quality is very low as well on most of the pieces I saw in the shop I mean there are some very good interesting finds but 80% of what I saw I did not enjoy it and personally myself this is my own opinion I'm not gonna spend money even low money on these pieces because I know that I will throw every everything away and I don't think it's really worth it but and I will explain you while we see what they have but there are quite a few very good finds in Primark which I really really liked I don't like the artificial flowers and the greeneries and everything in this shop and um, I, I can tell you that it's possible to go to New Covent Garden markets where they have even lower prices but much better quality and I've noticed a stand with Halloween stuff and the collaboration with Disney which was quite interesting loads of home decorations like pillows they're very nice as well I think this is something that can be purchased from Primark like seasonal home decorations I would not go for any blankets because they're pure synthetics but with the cushions and pillows, why not? And the t 10 pounds for pillow, yeah. This is something I don't like, I don't like polyester, I don't like synthetical things. But maybe for photography, for creating this Christmas Thing, it may work. I would be, I would really appreciate if you share your opinion on this particular shop because I know that many people like it, many people enjoy it. Mm. And uh, I can also say it's. You don't have to spend loads of money in shops like Selfridges or Harrods. I have visited quite a few shops which are very affordable and the quality is great there. And you can search for these videos on my channel. But 
here it was more of a disappointment for many things. I mean, it screams of the low quality, it looks cheap. Very sad reindeer. And I saw exactly the same basket in um, Homecraft, Hobbycraft, Hobbycraft. Um, yeah. <laughs> I don't even know how to comment this, honestly. Me not happy. Smith Kate. Loads of tiny little things that really spoil the general picture. And the gnomes, I guess the gnomes are the same everywhere, or almost everywhere. So, you never go wrong with a gnome. <laughs> the little LED lights, two pounds. Why not? So, yeah, some things. Why not? But generally. Like, let me show you something, because the plastic is cheap over here. And the decoration itself, I mean, these leaves, they spoil everything. You can see the glue, you can see the uncut pieces of plastic. The coasters are okay. Some kitchen stuff. Yes, again. Oh, I have broken one of those. Wow. I saw something similar in IKEA for same price, maybe a bit less, and the quality was much better. The little bears. Some more collaborations with Disney. The Nightmare Before Christmas, one pound fifty. This one is quite heavy. What do you think about this collaboration? And I I don't really like the way the paint is applied. It's like everything is about details. It can look okay from far away, but when you hold it and when you look at it closer, not nice. Some Harry Potter. I mean, yes, it's possible to choose something. But the Sanrio collaboration with Hello Kitty, and again, it's all about details because you can see that the paint is coming off. But the price is one fifty. I mean, this can be a good excuse. Or four pounds for whatever, how many toys are there? Mickey Mouse 150. Oh, this one is broken. It's 
here and I guess it's been glued before because you can see the glue and something is not quite right with this one as well and hello kitty snow globe 350 That poor little creature. This one's broken again. Let's check another one. Another broken piece. Let's check the third one. Maybe we're lucky. Yes, so this is the way it should look like. But I'm wondering why they're keeping all those broken bubbles in there. And they're not cheap. This stitch. The broken one the price uh, to my memory was eight pounds but it looks like no one really cares 154 usable ice cubes some napkins and something this is taken out from here as well I don't know why I thought they will have more Christmas stuff on the shelves. But I mean, the choice is okay, it's always possible to choose something. It looks like I'm trying to calm myself down. But five pounds for two towels, kitchen towels. And again, if you go to TK Marks. They will have some KitchenAid stuff for five pounds. Or last time I've been to TK Marks, I bought the Ralph Lauren. This one is nice. I bought the Ralph Lauren uh, kitchen towels for six to eight pounds. This is a very good find. I love the fragrance. I love the smell of this candle. And it looks very nice from the outside as well. So if you see this one, go get it. The smell is lovely. What a good choice of candles. I don't like the smells of all of them. I think the only one I've enjoyed was the pink one I've showed you a couple of moments ago. I love the idea of this bubble holder. I absolutely love the idea of this box. Um, Christmas sack. Some more Christmas decorations, the soft ones. Or is it the what is it? The napkin holder, napkin rings. But this is something not for me because this is something I would, if I buy it, I will throw it away straight after Christmas celebration. But I love this pillow. The, the cushion, the pillow, love it. Like the gingerbread house cushion. This one I like, but all these tiny little home accessories, no, big no for me. Mm, coming back to, I guess it should be the Christmas dress, and this is what I'm, what I was telling about. Loads of glue, loads of uncut plastic. It's just it does not look nice. So this is something I would not spend my money on. And I know that quite a few may tell me that 
people shop here because it's cheap and for this I can tell you there are so many other places which are not expensive but the quality is much 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 better Somewhere home, Christmas decor and I don't really like the smell of these things because they have this obvious smell of again plastic and glue 16 pounds for Christmas dress too late holiday too late house Joy and a bit smashed. <laughs> Seven pounds for a smashed Christmas tree on top of the joy car. And there's a huge choice of Hello Kitty stuff. Uh, we are moving on to Christmas decorations for home, home accessories. What do you think about this gingerbread girl? Looks cute. Loads of bed linen, very good choice, but the yeah. Honestly, sometimes I just don't know how to comment things. <laughs> I don't really like to be negative, but yeah. I love the color story of the uh, of this one. I don't like the quality. <laughs> but if I was looking for decorative pillows and cushions, I would choose something from Primark. Someone was looking for the gingerbread, uh, gingerbread house sets for, for the bed. There are quite a few options here. And it's quite messy in the store as well. On the way out I saw some clothing for festive season don't really look very optimistic to me because again everything is made from synthetic materials from polyester and I, again I would not be buying something to wear it for half an hour to make pictures and to throw it away because I'm against overconsumption And it's not about being just 12 pounds. So yes, coming back to sunny Oxford Street. And I have noticed that Newborn Street will be covered with Chanel Christmas lights. What are your thoughts on this? Okay. 
thank you for watching don't forget to hit the like button share your opinion and consider subscribing to my channel